very good morning to all of you welcome to all in this lecture number 24 of module theory <clears throat> so in the last lecture in the previous lecture we talked about health then program for health so we studied the coexistence of self and body feeling of self regulation that is required to ensure the health of the body <clears throat> and in this lecture specifically we are going to talk about policies and systems required for ensuring health at the level of country at the level of world etc so let's see let's start what kind of policies would be required what kind of systems will be required to ensure health in everyone so basically the whole lecture is based on the discussion of the policies related to health system so we already talked about health we already talked about program for ensuring health so just briefly i would like to briefly revise all those things here before uh, moving further in this lecture so previously we talked about the coexistence of self and body where we studied the need of the self need of the body activities of the self activities of the body and we understood that the need of the self is uh, continuous in time activities of the self is continuous in time so to ensure health it is required to have the right understanding at the level of self so once the self is able to see that the body is an instrument then self feel self regulation feeling of self regulation with this feeling self naturally makes program for ensuring health at the level of body so in the previous lecture we talked about the programs for ensuring health where we talked about intake daily routine yoga san pranayam medical treatment etc and we have understood in that lecture that intake is a very important step for ensuring health so if we take care about the intake the rest is ensured by the body because we studied that body is a self organized unit each and every cell each and every organ of the body is actually self organized we only have to take care about the input especially when taking any food and when we are talking about food it means we are talking about everything that is absorbed by the body so we are talking about air we are talking about water our environment food etc everything this can be done at the level of individual so individual at least can take care of food take care of water air etc and in this lecture we are going to talk about policies related to health system so what facilitations facilitations would be required from the policy makers so if policy makers provide a good health system and individual is aware about the self and the body and its coexistence then feeling of self regulation health can be ensured so both steps are required number 1 awareness in individual about the coexistence of self and body about the feeling of self regulation and along with this a uh, good health system is also required good policies are also required so combinedly the health of every person can be ensured so in this lecture we are basically going to talk about policies related to health system <clears throat> so if you see the definition of health 
you will find the definition of health in according to this oxford english dictionary the state of being free from illness or injury so the health according to this dictionary is being free from illness and injury so our whole focus is to remove this illness or injury from our body but if you see who definition in 1948 the definition is given in like a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity so who has recognized health not at the level of only body health is also required at the level of self mental health then health also depends on our so social well being so if we consider all these things physical mental and social well being then health can be ensured so it is not only removing the absence of diseases or infirmity it is a complete a state of complete physical mental and social well being this is health according to who so in fact we have talked many times during this course that if we want to ensure the body of the health then mental health is also required so if the self is not resolved if self has contradiction then it impacts body too so to be fit physically the mental health is also required along with this relationship in society is plays also an important role for a healthy person so if we have good relations with our relatives with our society we are if we are resolved at the level of self then health of the body can be ensured so for a healthy person all these three things are required resolution in the self harmony at the level of body and relationship with the environment so with these three points the state of health can be achieved so i we can say that a human being is healthy if his his physical mental and social being our relations are healthy so we can have a brief look where do we stand today so we can see diseases like communicable diseases non communicable diseases so communicable diseases are the diseases which have a probability to pass on from a diseased person to a healthy one who come in a contact so basically this kind of disease spread from one person to one person whenever they come in a contact and if you see the non communicable diseases you can see this figure this facts 70% mortality due to these in high income countries so despite availability of best of medical facilities and medical care these diseases do not pass on through human contact so non communicable diseases are basically those diseases who do not pass on through human contact so like obesity depression etc but if you see the percentage the countries which have high income are suffering from these diseases so if you pay attention on the fact and figure you may easily find out that those country who have high incomes are suffering from obesity so obesity is increasing despite of having a good medical facilities best medical facilities and medical care depression is increasing suicide is increasing majority of these are due to lifestyle only availability of 
good medical system is not enough to ensure health we have also evaluate lifestyle so if, if our lifestyle is not good if our lifestyle does not match with the circadian rhythm which we studied in the last lecture then these diseases cannot be stopped so along with good medical facilities good medical care our lifestyle lifestyle should be natural and you can easily see you can easily figure out that majority of these diseases like obesity depression suicide are mainly due to our lifestyle so if you see today at the level of body or at the level of self our lifestyle has become so complex that we are restless at the level of self and also our body have lot of problems and it is happening because of our lifestyle so this is a brief view about our state today so let's see some more facts and figure so like if we talk about obesity obesity is increasing so this is according this is report the uh, who report in 2014 where it is published that 13% obesity exists 39% overweight exists in usa 20% people are obese and in india it is also increasing 20% of people are having overweight or obesity and all these figures if you observe are increasing day by day so we are so we are moving towards development we are getting best medical facilities we have well equipped hospitals despite of all these facilities if you see these diseases these diseases are increasing day by day similarly if you see the fact of this depression at the world level you can see 3.8% of the world population suffer from depression and it is a major contributor to the overall global burden of disease so depression is a very prevalent issue most people are suffering from depression and depression expected to be world's number 1 disability by 2020 so if you see the scenario of usa 10% of the us population is depressed and in india 5 more than 5% live with mental illness so if you see depression depression is expanding day by day and most of the people are now suffering from this state of depression even a child who is supposed to play in this time period are also suffering from this state of depression so this is a simple graphical representation of the suicide rates so in 2016 suicide is 10th leading cause of death so 35% population affected by suicide it means for every suicide 25 attempt suicides so you can see here a data is mentioned of india in india also suicide rates are increasing 
in 1987 7.9 2007 10.3 2016 15 plus etc now you can see more latest figure using net so it is a important question despite of having all kind of medical facilities a good development in the field of especially medical field why this is happening? Why these diseases are increasing day by day? So there are some recommendations for the health system so that people can overcome from this state. So following things can be done in different dimensions of the system to ensure health. So these are recommendations. You see it you think over it you can add more recommendations if you have any so let's see what are these recommendations so education system so at least we can ensure self-awareness in our education system so we can promote education that help child to see himself or herself as a coexistence of self and body. At least we can talk in our education system about the needs of the self and the body. We can talk in our education system formally or informally about the program to ensure a right understanding in the self, program to ensure health at the level of body. So if we spread this kind of program in our education system and people get aware about the coexistence of self and body, about their need and if we facilitate process of self-exploration in our education system, process of self-investigation in our education system, then it helps every child to see that body is an instrument and each and every self with the feeling of self-regulation can ensure the health of the body. So this can immediately do at the level of education system. So if we provide such kind of education which help students to explore themselves to explore their needs, to explore their consciousness, then most of the problem, about 50% of the disease could be prevented at the level of individual. If we expand, if we spread such kind of education. Similarly, some rec recommendations can be given at the level of health system. So health system, <clears throat> if we talk about this health system to ensure education for maintaining awareness of the self with the body through a balanced lifestyle. So it is again an important point that we should ensure education. So basically education helps to spread awareness of the self with the body. So we provide such kind of education which ensures understanding in the self about the coexistence of self and the body, about the feeling of self-regulation. Then it helps us to live a balanced lifestyle and this includes proper intake, labor and exercise, postures and breath regulation etc. So we should provide such kind of education so that the student should be aware about proper intake whenever they are going to take any food for their body they should be able to discriminate about the healthy or non-healthy products then they should be prepared with the practice of labor and exercise then postures and breath regulations etc 
all these things that we talked about in previous lecture. So if we ensure such kind of life, then it can be ensured at the level of health system. So more than 80% of diseases could be prevented if we ensure all kind of or such kind of things in our education system. And then the remaining 5 to 10% can be ensured with medication, surgery, etc. So if we talk about health policies, so the country's health system will have an overall responsibility for ensuring health of every citizen. So it is a responsibility of our health system, <coughs> our health department to ensure health in every citizen. So again, it is important to note when we are talking about health, we are talking about physical and mental health of all the citizens. So basically, government funds will be primarily for treatment of communicable diseases and accidents. So in the policy system, there should be provision to help people in the case of communicable diseases or in case of accidents. It provides also provides mental security in the citizens that they will get help in case of these diseases. So funding of Health education will be appropriately augmented so that people and organizations adopt healthy lifestyles. There should be a proper fund to ensure such kind of health education that help people, that help organizations to adopt healthy lifestyle. So if government make a provision, make uh, give funds to adopt this healthy lifestyle, then definitely it will impact our lifestyle. So all these kind of policies are required at the level of government. Now we can talk about health system at the level of society. So at the level of society, we can look at the societal systems required to support, protect and enrich family and social efforts. So some of uh, these are mentioned here like education system. So it is necessary to prepare every child in all dimensions of health. It means we should provide such kind of education that facilitates child to ensure health in all dimensions, mental health, social health, health at the level of body. And it can be ensured with the feeling of self-regulation. So in education system, there should be provisions to develop the feeling of self-regulation in the child. Then there is a required appropriate practice to keep the body healthy. So all this should be ensured at the level of education. So if our education is based on self-exploration, if our education is based on reality, then all these can be ensured at the level of child through education system. With this family system, so harmony in the family provides a conducive environment for mental and physical health. So if there is a good relations in family, there is a harmony in family. If there are justice in family, there are feelings in family that we study like trust, respect, affection, etc. So fulfillment of all these feelings provide a conducive environment which ultimately ensure mental and physical health in the member of the family. With this, a system of appropriate intake, routine, devil exercise are essential part of the family system. So policy should be made at the level of family, structure should be made at the level of families and it should be taken care by the policy makers that the structures which are being adopted by families, social structures, buildings structures are according to healthy lifestyle or not. So all these can be ensured with the help of, help of these healthy policy systems. Then there is a need of skills and means to deal with minor ailments with home remedies. So it is also required to ensure the skills in every child so that he or she may 
cure themselves in case of there is a minor ailment or disease so students should be able to recognize home remedies they should be well equipped to use home remedies in case of minor ailments similarly participate meaningful in above areas in neighborhood in the family and cluster and beyond so if we equip a child with such kind of education a child becomes a natural agent to spread all these things to their neighborhood their social systems etc then we can talk about health system at the level of society <clears throat> so education for social health system has to be part of mainstream education so such kind of education education should be a part of mainstream education it should be focused on ensuring health and prevention of diseases rather than treatment of disease only so such kind of education can help a child to ensure health rather than only thinking about the prevention of diseases so if you observe around you many people are trying to prevent the diseases very few of us are working for the health and for this we should promote labor exercise pranayam to keep the body and breathing in balance so this mass awareness is required to promote labor exercise pranayam etc if we provide this at all level then good lifestyle practices intake routine as well as home remedies for minor ailments can be ensured so such kind of system is required at the level of society which is spread mass awareness about all these things that we have discussed now then medicine and treatment at the level of system so need to involve holistic system of the medicine and treatment based on different systems prevailing today so there is a need to evolve holistic system of medicine and treatment rather than giving treatment to only that infected part there is a need to evolve a holistic system that ensures the health of the whole body and it would be there as a service with a feeling of mutual fulfillment rather than merely as a profit or non profit business so this can be ensured with the feeling of mutual fulfillment and if we only pay attention on our profit then it becomes difficult to run such kind of educations so such kind of health system so a feeling of mutual relationship is required that can be ensured through education system at the society level so let's the sum of the whole things so we need the following societal system to support protect and enrich family and societal efforts so we talked about education system so it is required it is necessary to prepare every child in all dimensions of health so that the child may develops the feeling of self regulation the child should be able to practice to keep the body healthy so a education system is required so that a child get skilled to ensure his or her health then at family system harmony in the family is required for mental and physical health health so feeling of relationship values in relationships feeling justice this kind of curriculum should be a part of our education system and as well as our family system so if the families are harmony are in harmony then it becomes very easy for a child to live in a harmonious manner and if the family system is good if there is a harmony in family system and if we develop sanskars in our child with this family system the child becomes a natural agent for spreading such kind of education through their conduct in their neighborhood in family clusters and beyond then we talked about health system at the societal level <clears throat> so whatever has discussed should be a curriculum in our education system 
तो हेल्थ सिस्टम शुड बी फोकस्ड ऑन इंश्योरिंग हेल्थ ऑन प्रिवेंशन ऑफ डिसीज राधर देन ऑन ट्रीटमेंट एंड डिसीज अलोन सो देर इज ए नीड टू इवॉल्व अ होलिस्टिक विजडम देर इज ए नीड टू इवॉल्व अ होलिस्टिक परसेप्शन अबाउट दी हेल्थ देन मेडिसिन एंड ट्रीटमेंट एट द लेवल ऑफ सिस्टम सो एन इवॉल्व इवॉल्व होलिस्टिक सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन ट्रीटमेंट विच इज बेस्ड ऑन द एसेंस ऑफ डिफरेंट सिस्टम prevailing today it would be done as a service with a feeling of mutual fulfillment so if we are following this medical and treatment it should be done with the feeling of mutual fulfillment rather than only with profit and profit making system so if we continue this this could be a significant reduction in the burden on the current health system by societal health policies so if our, our education system facilitates the knowledge of self and body if our education system facilitates the feeling of self liberation in the child if our education system facilitates harmonious harmonious relationship in family then it naturally reduces the burden of current health system so about 80% of illness which are related to lifestyle could be prevented at the level of individual family family cluster school and colleges so we have to evo- evolve such kind of systems in schools in colleges institutions in organizations that help a child to live in a healthy lifestyle so approximately 10% of the remaining could be handled by no remedies so only rest of the very small percentage of communicable diseases accidental and genetic disorders would require medicine and treatment so if we ensure all the discussed things at the education system then there will be a very small percentage where this surgery etc would be required so with this basic understanding there can be a major shift in paradigm related to health and health systems so it's all about the lecture from my side where we talked about the health system and policies so basically we talked about the system required to ensure health in every citizen we talked about policies recommendations that is required at the level of a school family society organizations so that each and every one's health can be ensured so thank you very much let's meet in the next lecture with module 4 thank you very much